All right guys, it's the next day. Uh, I left yesterday about three o'clock to go get these bad boys. <clears throat> um, made it there about five, five thirty. Got everything loaded up by six. Got maybe a mile down the road from the guy's place and ended up blowing a tire on the uh, snowmobile trailer. And wouldn't you know it, not a single tire place was open. So we had to go to track supply and they luckily had a tire but they didn't have a tire on the rim so <clears throat> these tires are a bitch to change out. Anything smaller than them. But uh miraculously we uh ended up blowing the tire right next to uh, uh quite a few nice uh, gentlemen that were having a campfire. Um they let us pull in and unhook the trailer and while well, we went to track the supply to get the tire. Um, they had the uh, they got the other tire off off the trailer and then uh, they had we were just starting to get the tire off the rim for us before we even got back. <clears throat> and then they helped us get the new tire on, put air into it and helped us uh, rearrange rent rearrange these. Cause I knew when we got done, we should have uh, rearranged stuff, but we didn't. We ended up having these two on the back, and then this one there, and that one over there uh, on the front. We should have had these on the front, on the tongue. So, but anyways, <clears throat> this is a 68. Uh, the guy uh, originally mowed with this one. Ended up stopping and getting a newer mower. So this one's that. Here's another 68. Um, I need a carburetor, front tire, seat, probably a pair of fenders. So on here is a 68 Super 12 Hydro. So um, as far as I know, it just needs a carburetor and a tire. All tires. And this is a 67 Super 12. And unfortunately, somebody stuffed a core underneath and did a crappy, crappy job of um, To be honest with you, I really, this is the only one I never looked underneath, underneath the hood of. But they unfortunately butchered that hood and, and Unfortunately, they butchered this grill, even this side piece, which really sucks. But, I mean, they <laughs> made this here work. Um, I'm not even sure if this clutch pedal even works. I mean, for the most part, I guess it, it works, I guess. I really don't do a whole lot. But, I don't know. No idea if it runs or anything. Um, I guess that'll be on another adventure when I get time. Um, I took a mule drive and <clears throat> welded battery and gas tank tray too. Yeah, I guess it's pretty neat. Um, that way I guess you could also mow with it too if you want to I guess. Which these are set up. This one might be able to be freed up. But the gas tank sat there. Um, there was no battery, so there was no battery on it. But, uh, this, yeah, ain't no good. <laughs> but, um, won't be anytime soon, but, um, I, my plans were to see if this will even run. If it will run, then I might just keep it on there. But I'd rather just go back to the stock Tecumseh and go that route. But we will see. Um, so I also picked up this Case 222 Hydro. So it's basically, if I can get it running good, I'll keep it. If not, then 
that'll be going down the road. That'll be money and funds to get these three going. So this one here actually is oh yeah, I got another hood and grill, but unfortunately the top piece is broke on this. So which really sucks. But the grill piece is actually good, it's not cut up or anything. This one here runs but the carburetor is gonna need to be clean and gas tank and stuff. Dude, I let go of the clutch as I choke, it died right out. See? So um, this is supposed to have the lighter end to it, but it's missing like pretty much 90% of them. So but alrighty guys. There you go. Here's my uh, load. Um, I got a bunch of parts and, and boxes that I'll have to make a video of later on. Alright guys.